My name is Dr. Jeromi. I'm a neurosurgeon with Northwestern Medicine, and today I'm going to take you inside our operating room where we're going to be treating a recurrent brain aneurysm. This procedure will take about three to four hours and we will be using a combination of stents and coils to seal off a brain aneurysm that has grown again. So our job today is to act as brain plumbers, find where that weak spot is inside the blood vessel and seal it off from the inside. So these blisters are not benign and if they rupture, one third of patients will die immediately. They will not make it to the hospital. Of the two-thirds that survive to make it to a hospital, only one-third will have a good outcome. So while these are tiny little blisters, they're silent killers. We're going to start by getting access. This is where we puncture the femoral artery under ultrasound guidance so we can introduce our catheters and wires into the vascular tree. And from there, we're going to stagger our way past the heart into the aortic arch and then all the way through the neck inside the brain into the basilar artery where the recurrent brain aneurysm exists. We can actually navigate inside the body while rotating this particular torque device. We've now performed what's called a roadmap. This allows us with injection of the dye to actually visualize the structures that we're gonna be traversing so it's not a blind navigation. So this is the actual smallest of the catheters that we'll be using. That's the portion that will actually go all the way eventually into the aneurysm. So the entire construct is gives all of our catheters and wires right beside this aneurysm and then bridge it with stents so that the normal blood vessels remain open. These bridges serve as scaffolds to then keep the sealant material, which is the coils inside that aneurysm. In this fashion, the normal plumbing remains open and that weak outpouching remains sealed off. So now we're gonna do a three-dimensional rotational angiogram. This will allow us to visualize the aneurysm and the blood vessels leading to it and going away from it so now we're going to measure the size of the normal blood vessels and this will then allow us to plan the size of stents we're going to need. Yep. So now we're going to get into the aneurysm with the microcatheter. Once we're inside the aneurysm, then we'll start placing coils inside it to seal. As it fills the aneurysm, we will downsize so the next coil is a little bit smaller, fits inside the first coil and so on and so on. To fill that aneurysm with enough metal mass to prevent blood flow inside it, and that eventually forms a permanent seal at the neck of the aneurysm. We used a total of 11 coils. The aneurysm is now fixed. This looks fantastic. That is an amazingly gorgeous result. So she will be waking up in half an hour from this procedure. She'll go overnight to the ICU for monitoring. And if all looks good, tomorrow morning, she'll just go home, back to regular life. So this is really a great minimally invasive method of treating what is a very complex brain disorder. You know, 20, 30 years ago, these patients would have been weeks in hospital. We've really made this a much more straightforward procedure and much better tolerated for patients. I'm Dr. Jeromi, and thank you for joining me inside the OR.